Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And if you're a game developer, chances are you found yourself searching the internet for a 3D model that you can use uh, in your either prototype or game. And, you know, I think like everybody, we like free. So this is what I've done. I've compiled a list of some of the top resources for getting th free assets. Now, some of these also include commercial stores, but... I, if it's included on this list, it means that there's either high quality or quite a few 3D assets freely available on each of the sites. Now, by no means is this list comprehensive. And if there's a great resource that I haven't added, let me know when I will add it onto the list. Now, speaking of the list, there is a list. So if you want to go through these at your own pace, don't worry. It's on Game From Scratch. I will link this down below. This has all of the sites we're about to visit on them. And without further ado, let's jump in. Now, the first two we're going to start with are pretty predictable if you use these game edges. There's two game edges that have a very sizable asset store that came with them. And the first asset store is gigantic. And that's the Unity Asset Store. Now, obviously, this is of most value if you are working in Unity. In fact, I think you have to be working in Unity, but I don't want to be quoted on that one. Talk to your lawyers there. But there are a ton of free models available under Unity. What you have to do first is search for what you are wanting to find. So you go into 3D. You search for 3D. Uh, so, for example, I say I was looking for a goat. Uh, once I have found my goat, we can come into the price range, set this down to zero, and then we will now on just have free goats available. Now, it would seem that Steam has no free goats, but, uh, you know, theoretically, hopefully you would find what you were searching for. Now, the next one comes up, and speaking of which, all of the links I have down below will link directly to the free search require, um section or criteria or whatever. So this entire guide is optimized towards being freely available. And on that topic, if you're using Unreal Engine, Unreal or Epic Games have made a ton of AAA quality assets completely free. Now the problem with both Unity Store and the um, the uh, Unreal Engine Asset Store is you're going to see a lot of these in other titles. There's got a lot of asset flips out there are already using these. So do be aware of that. But they do have a number of free assets available for Unreal Engine users. And you can use them commercially Commercially, but you can only use them in Unreal Engine projects. So one of those things to be aware of. And that's it for game engines. We're moving out of game engines onto straight up sites now. And the first site we're going to talk about is probably the biggest asset store on the market. And that is Turbo Squid. Now Turbo Squid is where you can go and buy assets. Um, artists can sell them there. My understanding is a lot of artists are pretty negative on the site because their commission rate is staggeringly high. I believe it's 50% that they take from the artist to sell there. That's quite a bit for an online store. But they have a ton of freely available stuff on here. Um, again, this link will bring you to the free section and you will see there are 18,766 results. So there's a pretty good chance what you are looking for is available here in their free market. Uh, now, there's something that I should point out right here. This guy is a uh, big... Big Max from Little Big Hero or Big Hero 6. Uh, do be aware, this kind of stuff happens all the time. Just because you see an asset available doesn't mean you can legally use it. Same with this. There's a Coca-Cola can. That one's iffy, uh, but just because it is available free does not mean that you're not um, eligible or susceptible to copyright and trademark law. So do be aware of that. All right, so after Turbo Squid, there is... Open Game Art. Now, Open Game Art is a free site for archiving game dev oriented assets, and there are a number of 3D assets available. Just head on over to the 3D art section. I find this is basically we'll throw everything at it. So there's a lot of crap on here, but there's some really great stuff too. So you might have to do a little bit of manual searching and sorting, but you can find some great stuff on um, opengameart.org. Next up, we have BlendSwap. Now, BlendSwap is entirely Blender-oriented. Uh, there's some great stuff here. There's some terrible stuff here. You'll notice it's membership-orientated, and these will basically limit the amount. So you get um, you can subscribe to have an unlimited downloads for 24 hours only, or you can sign up for free and have a bit of a cap on what's available. Everything that is available here, I believe, is under the Creative Commons license, which is quite liberal in what it can do. At worst, you may have to do some uh, attribution, uh, attribution uh, if you use an asset on there. Um, now, the next one is probably one of the most popular sites out there right now, which is Sketchfab. Now, Sketchfab was started off as a way to people to showcase what they can do. Um, and then, you know, so you've got these nice OpenGL viewers. You can get, a, you know, 3D view of objects. You can search and sort around. Well, you can also come in here and you can sort, um, search by uh, free 
and then you can do your categories or your filter down to downloadable. And between those combinations, you will find, so search for free and then filter by uh, downloadable and you should find all of the assets are available there. Now, they're, they have an online store that is very searchable, but it's commercial only and the free stuff isn't in there. So it does make SiteFab a bit of a pain to use, but there's some really high quality work that's been given away on here, uh, including some great game levels. I've used it for some of the tutorials in the past. So, and everything here is downloadable in GLTF2 format, which is kind of cool. Now, next up is Google's thing. Now, Google is adding more stuff to it that's a little bit less useful, but basically what they've done is they've created a gigantic repository of things like uh, cactuses, dogs, etc. And generally what you get is a very um, low poly, uh, flat shaded, non-textured art style. Now, unfortunately, again, there's this other stuff that they've cluttered this up with, which is making it a bit less useful. But you come up here basically, so for example, if I was searching for um, a jet, you just come on up here, you can search for a jet. And then there you see, it's almost all this low poly style, um, non-textured format. But if that works for your game, there's a ton of stuff available on here. Um, now, next up we have, this is a lot like Turbo Squid. Uh, this is CG Trader, very similar concept. Uh, basically, they're an online repository where you can buy and sell models, but there's also a large number of free ones there. As you can see here, we're in the 3D models category, and we've set the price to free, and here are your results, and they scroll on and on and on, and there are 1,722 pages of results. So between CG Trader and um, Turbo Squid, there are a ton of assets out there available completely for free. All right, so next one is under the category of questionable. I didn't know if I was going to throw this one in or not. This is basically, this is Remix 3D. This is Microsoft's version of Poly, which isn't really fair because it came first. Now, the thing is, this is optimized for a Paint 3D workflow. Now, Paint 3D is an application that is included in Windows 10 products. Um, and it allows you to basically paint in 3D. It's very well named in that regard. And this guy, once again, so we'll go in here and we can search. I'll go back to my goat theme and you will find communities that either modeled goats or have remixed goats, thus the site's names. And there's also a lot in here that say Microsoft has seeded in here that are, you know, modeled in Maya or Max or Blender, etc. And then what you can do here is you can actually open these things up in Paint 3D and then you can export from Paint 3D out to a 3D file format such as uh, FBX format and then use them however you want. It's a bit of a roundabout process and Microsoft is not obvious with their actual licensing on this one. Although they basically make it sound like you can do anything with these things. Um, but I again... Uh, I would get your lawyers to check in on this one. And that workflow is a pain in the butt, again, because you have to basically find it here, get it to Paint 3D, and then export it out as FBX. But it's a pretty big collection, and there's some really nice stuff in there, which is why I, in the end, decided to go ahead and show this guy. The next one is strange. It's NASA. <laughs> And NASA has a huge collection of 3D models and objects. It's uh, obviously space-oriented, uh, but you've got modules and space stations and asteroids and planets and textures and so on and so forth, all available on the NASA website. And I think it's kind of a do whatever you want with it kind of asset. Now, obviously, if you're not working in space, this is a very, very limited use to you. But uh, you know what? I don't get to link to NASA very often, so I definitely included this one in. And then the final one may render almost all of these links completely redundant. I kind of probably started with it, but what fun is that? There is a site called Yobby 3D. Now, Yobby 3D is not an asset store. It is an aggregator. Basically, it is a search engine for 3D assets. And that's exactly how it works. Let's stick the goat theme going. So we search, come in here, look for goats. And what it does is finds all of the goats it can find at the various different uh, places. So basically you see here, we've got TF3DM, we've got uh, all my mini factory. Generally you'll get models resource, claria.io. Oh, I should have put them on this list. I'll add them quickly uh, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of different um, options available here. This basically is aggregating all the sites, including like you can see here, CG Trader and some of the other ones I've mentioned earlier. So if you're just looking for um, a model, this is definitely a place to go. Now you're seeing uh, all untextured versions. Uh, textured versions are available, but not in the search results that you see here. But this will kind of index all of the various different sites and options that are available out there. So 
Um, if you're looking for a search engine for finding 3D models, uh, Yabi 3D may just be the place to go, especially because as you can see here, you are getting a preview and it has a lot of sites in its particular um, collection. And then there is Claria IO. Let me just go ahead and open that one up. All right, come on computer. All right, I can't type for some reason. Here, let me just get out of full screen view. Claria I, oh, sorry, Clara IO uh, has a huge collection of free 3D models available as well. Come on in here and you can see uh, they are in categories, etc. I should have really remembered this one. I forgot it. I will add it to the list as we go. Another one of those great resources. And again, if you have a resource that I have currently not highlighted that you find is a great source and has free um, downloadable assets available, do let me know in the comments down below and I will add it to the linked list. Now, once again, there is a linked version of everything we just covered, minus Clara, um, and it is available in the link down below. So I hope you guys found that useful. There is an absolute ton of stuff out there. Uh, so there's no reason why we have to just use uh, programmer art. Let's all get our asset flips going as fast as possible. All right, I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.